hello everyone welcome back to my channel fix pay and we will continue with kingdom come deliverance and this time we will do the dlc from the ashes so this is the first dlc from kingdom come deliverance and from the ashes can be start after the main quest baptism of fire What we need to do to start this DLC is talk to Sordi Fish in Talmberg. Oh, and by the way, this DLC can still be start even we are at Epilogue Quest. So I I'm fine in here. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? Can I be of service to you, Sir Divish? I've heard talk that something is going on in Pribis Lovitz. Henry, you've come at just the right moment. I sent a man to Pribis Lovitz, my locator, Marius. What's a locator? A land allocator. I charged him with checking on the condition of the settlement to see if we can start rebuilding it. You're planning to resettle the village? Yes. Why Pribis Lovitz, of all places? Because it's been lying fallow and falling into ruin since it was sacked by Havel Medic years ago. It's about time that changed. Well, it should be safe there now. We trounced that rabble on the battlefield. Yes, and that's why I sent my master locator there. However, he should have been back long since. If you've no objection, I could go and look for him. I'd appreciate that. He probably just got delayed. But I'd be happier if you checked it out. See you later. Okay, so the first quest for this DLC is Lost in the Woods. And we need to find the locator. And that is in previous love hits. Yeah. We are back in here. And this is the chance that we can loot all the items in here. But I think I'm not going to do that for now. You can do that if you want. Oh, and also this DLC is need a lot of money to so make sure that you have at least 100k roshan before start this DLC So, it's all clear to me now. What is? Who are you? You've no business here. I'm Henry, and I was expecting to find you here. What? How could you? Sir Divish's locator went missing around these parts. Well, it seems like he's all out of luck, don't it? Divish ought have sent someone better than you to parley. He didn't send me to parley. He sent me to deal with it. Deal with it? There's plenty of us, and you're on your own, so I think twice about how you're going to deal with that. Let him go, right now. Or you can stay here and feed the crows, like the rabble who were here before you. Alright, alright. No need to be hasty, eh? 
We'll be on our way then. Quietly. That fella's in the tent over there. Okay, so the bandit can be persuaded. Thank you. My pleasure. Sir Divish sent me to find you, and it looks like I arrived just in time. God's truth! I'm Henry of Scalith. My name is Marius Bielek, Master Locator. Sir Divish sent me here to survey the area. Well, the outlaws are out of the way, so we can go and report to him, right? Not just yet. Those bastards caught me as soon as I arrived, and so far all I've seen is the inside of the tent they tied me up in. I still have a job to do. Come along with me, if you like. We'll report to Sir Divish afterwards. Okay, let's go with him. I'll escort you then. At least I can make sure you don't get caught again. What? Are there more of those bandits around? No, no, I, j I just meant... Never mind. Should we get going? So we can join him to this is a good spot for the rat house do what we every planned. village must have one it'll be nice and prominent here it's on the hillside so the foundations will stay dry it can have its own little square close to the church there's no better site here church is still standing good good whoever built it did a good job considering how old it is and what it's been through recently it stood up well it won't be an easy job to fix it but it can be done timber alone won't do though One tradesman's shop here. Maybe a baker's? There's quite a lot of space here. It just needs clearing thoroughly. Then we could even fit stables here. That will be looks nice. Approach road and stream. Help, help, help. 
This bridge needs reinforcing. It won't last long in this condition. I reckon it would make sense to build a weir over the stream down there. The water here is clean and can be used to supply the village until we sink a well. It's a good thing we have this stream. No point in building without a water source. Supplies and trade will flow through here. I can't even see past the trees and ruins whether there's room for anything there. But at least the trees are strong and healthy. All we need is a few good woodcutters, and we won't have to bring in any timber from elsewhere. Stone foundations. They'll come in handy, and we're close to the stream. Lots of space here. There's a well here already. All the better. Big space, clean water, close to the village green. A good site for an inn. That's that, then. The most essential surveying is done. Hmm. So, Master Locator, ready to start building? There's a long way to go before that. A few ruins that are left are basically beyond repair. It's all overgrown with brush. Oh dear. We'll have to get it all cleared before we can start rebuilding it. So it is possible to rebuild everything? Yes, absolutely. But building a whole village is no small enterprise. Hmm. We'll need timber, lots of it. Which isn't a problem in the middle of the woods, of course. We'll have to hire wage labor to begin with. Quite a lot of men. Hmm. Hmm. I think we should get started without delay. There's a lot of work involved, but it'll be well worth the effort. I can just imagine it. The church will dominate the whole settlement. Oh, that's good news. When will you inform Sir Divis? Why wait? I'll head to Townburg right away. But would you keep an eye on things here in the meantime? It would be rather embarrassing to run into more bandits when I return with Sir Divish. No problem. I'll be right here. It shouldn't take us long. My lord, welcome to Pribislavitz. That is to say, welcome back to Pribislavitz after all these years. Well, what's left of it? 
Not to worry, Marius. <sighs> I'm glad to be back in my old hamlet. Although, it seems to have aged about as gracefully as I have over the years. I beg to differ, sir. It's quite dilapidated, unlike your good self. But at least it's safe now. Thanks in part to Henry here, who also saved me from a predicament that cost me valuable time. Who knows? If it hadn't been for him, we might not even be talking now. Well, lad, in the end, you managed things in your own way, I see. Just as you said you would. I did my best, sir. Uh, should we lie? We can get Groshen if we lie. Um, let's not do that. They didn't look all that tough, so I put a bit of pressure on them and they took to their heels. You were outnumbered and you scared them off? Nah, they were greenhorns. I think they may have been a bit intimidated by me. Let's hope they don't try anything like that again. I'm quite sure they won't, sir. Let's get down to the matter in hand, shall we? What state is Pribislavitz in? Sir, in my official capacity as locator, I am gratified to inform you that the hamlet of Pribislavitz may be renewed. And indeed it offers prospects of considerable expansion beyond its former limits. Splendid. Finally some good news for this province. And badly needed, too. So, what have you discovered so far? I want to know all the details. We had a scout around. We conducted a basic survey, from which we can make a preliminary outline of the parcels. I already have in my head an initial plan of what can be built where. We should certainly have a church. I'd like to preserve the existing one. That should present no serious obstacles. The building is in much better condition than we anticipated. But extensive reconstruction will be required. That's to be expected. Uh, there's a stream here, and a well, right in the middle of the village. Yes, and there are abundant woods around. Clearing them will provide both extra land and timber supplies that we can use right away. Right now, I believe we're standing on the village green, aren't we? The future green, that is. The village centre will comprise at least six large buildings to begin with. We can't fit any more than that here. So there will be other buildings away from the square, in particular more extensive structures. I'm glad to hear it. I never expected you'd find so much space here in the middle of the woods. The building work we're about to engage in is only the first part of my plan. Later, we'll clear more forests for agricultural land and build more farmhouses. But... For now, we'll have to focus on more sensible goals. As you wish, my lord. But rebuilding a whole village must cost a king's ransom, though. It's true it won't come cheap. Before the tradesmen settle here and start producing and trading, it will be necessary to invest a certain amount of capital. A certain amount? How much, exactly? I wouldn't venture to state a precise amount at this point, but I expect it will come to some thousands, even tens of thousands of Groschen. Well, that much? I hope you're good at haggling. We shall, of course, attempt to procure everything at the best possible price, but raising a settlement from the ashes you see around you is a costly business. Nevertheless, I can assure you, my lord, that if all goes well, the investment shall all come back to you with interest. I hope I shall live to enjoy it, Master Marius. Well, a village isn't a village without villagers. You'll need new subjects. Even preparing the ground for a building will need lots of labour. Where can we find so many people, sir? You sound sceptical, lad. But it's a good question. I've already given it some thought. I've agreed with Radzik and Hanish that we shall make an announcement in Rate to invite people to move here and help with the construction, which will bring them many benefits, but also obligations. In addition, I expect the prospects of a new home will appeal to your former Scalitz neighbors more than a makeshift camp by the castle walls. They'll be delighted, sir. A splendid solution, sir. I've also been concerned about how to bring settlers here, but now it seems there will be no shortage of new inhabitants after all. It seems things are finally looking up. We routed the bandits in battle, and Henry took care of the remnants. 
When can we get to work? Right away, as far as I'm concerned. All we need is people and the necessary funds. And we'll need someone to keep order, at least in the interim. True. I'll leave you some of my men. If I may, I would recommend quickly appointing a bailiff to take responsibility for the renewal of the village, its coffers and its citizens. True. Hmm. First things first. Since you understand these matters best, you shall take charge of the land parceling and building works. You'll be available to the bailiff, but answerable directly to me. I'd be honored, sir. Thank you. And, as regards the office of bailiff, what about you, Henry? Yes, sir. You've proven yourself well. You've demonstrated that you're capable of solving problems, and you command the respect of your former Scalit's neighbors. Well, I'm not so sure. And you're also capable of maintaining law and order. I must concur. So, let us expedite matters. Henry, I hereby appoint you to the office of Bailiff of the Hamlet of Pribislavitz in my domain. My lord, it's a great honor. Thank you. You will oversee the initial renewal and administration of the village that will set the ground for further development. <laughs> but don't imagine it'll be a bed of roses, lad. Being bailiff doesn't mean you can do whatever you like. If you don't treat the settlers rightly, I'll soon find out and relieve you of your office. Besides, we can't spare a single groschen from the Talmberg coffers now, with the province in chaos. So, you'll have to cover the cost for the building work from your own purse. Me? But Marius said it would cost a fortune. True. But from what I hear, you know how to get your hands on coin enough. So, I expect you'll manage it just fine. <laughs> I'd like to know who's been spreading such gossip. And I am assigning you certain specific tasks. You must ensure the rebuilding of the church. That means complete reconstruction, wall paintings, and a new altar. See to it that in the future, the village will be capable of supporting a certain number of people. For that, you will need to ensure the construction of essential artisans' buildings. And ultimately, the village must produce sufficient earnings to fund further expansion. But, sir, I've never done... I understand your concerns, but you'll be handsomely rewarded. I shall grant you the proceeds from the whole village for the first five years, and you have my permission to use the surrounding woods and land as you see fit. Well, that's, um... I mean... Are you sure I'm the right man for the job, sir? It's a lot of responsibility. As you said yourself, Henry, it's a great honour. Besides, you won't be alone in it. I'll assist you and supervise the construction work. Phew. All right, then. So, we're agreed. You'll give this document to the Rete bailiff. He'll make the announcement to invite settlers, which should ensure enough people to begin work. At the same time, your official appointment as bailiff will be announced. I don't know what to say, sir. I'm sure you won't disappoint me, Henry. And now I must get back to my duties at Townburg. Send word when everything is prepared. Certainly, sir. Have a safe journey. Farewell, sir. So it looks like we'll be we live in previous love hits. The new previous love hits. So I'm excited. And also we've got Bailiff's maze. But actually That is not the best weapons in the game. You see? So Belly's Maze is the second best maze in the game. But the prestige is all uh number one the prestige is number one of course so now let's go to right day first
Oh. Fiddler. Okay. We've met before, haven't we? Come to think, yes, we have. So, you know how it goes. The bet is five groschen. I'll give you a riddle, and if you guess right, you get double. If not, the groschen are mine. So, what do you say? That sounds good. Let's do it. Lend me your ear. A pilgrim on his journey meets three faiths. One is called truth and always speaks the truth. The second is called falsehood and always tells lies. The third is called wisdom and sometimes speaks the truth and sometimes lies. The trouble is that the pilgrim does not know which is which. Therefore, he asks each one a question. He starts with the fate on the left and asks her, which one is standing in the middle? And the fate replies, truth. He asks the middle one, which one are you? And the fate responds, wisdom. He asks the last one, which one is standing in the middle? And the fate replies, falsehood. The question is, which fate is which? First, second, and third. Uh, which one is it? The left said, number one said, in the middle is true. But the middle, say wisdom. The last one say, the middle is falsehood. Damn, this is hard. What do you think? The middle is truth? No, it can be. He said that he is wisdom. Truth, falsehood, wisdom. You're wrong. The correct answer is oh. wisdom, falsehood, truth. The fate in the middle cannot yes, be Yes, I know. Otherwise, she would say so about herself, which would mean the fate on the left would be falsehood, and so also cannot be truth. Truth must therefore be the fate on the right, and taking her at her word, falsehood is in the middle. This leaves only wisdom as the one on the left. Oh, don't you fret. Very few people can figure out my oh, riddles. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I thank you. But I'm wrong. And may we meet again <laughs> sometime. Not if I see you first. Okay. Thank you, Riddler. Now let's continue our journey. A document for you from Sir Divish. It concerns the renewal of Pribislavitz. The village you drove those bandits out of? Very same. So it's true then. Good. Good. Let me see that document then. Here it is. So what have we here? Hmm. 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 It says I should announce that anyone interested may move to Pribislavitz to live and work. 
and Sir Radzig and Sir Hanush also give their consent. Hmm. In that case, let's not waste any time. Come along with me. Farewell. Hear ye, hear ye. It is hereby announced, in the name of Sir Hanush and Sir Divish, that you, the citizens of Ratai, as well as those who have found temporary refuge here, are permitted to move to the hamlet of Pribislavitz, to the north of Tomberg Castle, wherein you shall be vouchsafed a new life and new dwellings, providing that you shall contribute to the renewal of the hamlet. All those who choose to accept this offer shall be exempted from payment of taxes for a period of five years. They shall be permitted also to make use of timber from the surrounding woods and water from the streams. The hamlet of Pribislavitz lies in the domain of Sir Divish of Talmberg, and all who settle there shall be duty-bound to him. It is furthermore hereby announced that Henry of Skalitz is appointed to the administration of Pribislavitz and the office of bailiff therein, which office and privilege have been conferred upon him by Sir Divish for loyalty and services rendered. I would therefore recommend that our Skalitz friends consider this offer very seriously, as nothing better is likely to come your way anytime soon. That's cool. And we are done. With loss in the woods. And his murderers took everything I had. God's blessings. What can I do for you? Goodbye. Okay. Now we need to go back and talk to Marius. But before that, I want to take a bath. already close yeah okay let's wait until morning come on lady be with you 
What can I do for you? I'm interested in your uh, services. So what are you interested in? Let's go. I'd like um, a private bath for two. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Alpha Wolf. Wow, this place is very different. Look at that. Yeah. This is baby, baby slap it. Welcome back. What news from Ratai? Well, the bailiff read Sir Divish's decree, and now I'm officially bailiff of Pribislavitz. Then allow me to congratulate you. What will be your first step? First, I'll, um... I'll, uh... Hmm. Actually, I'm not quite sure. What would you recommend? As it happens, I already saw a few things in your absence. You might have noticed that the first people have come from Ratai. Yeah, I saw some heading here right away. So when they arrived, I was able to start clearing building plots with them. After they directed some temporary dwellings, that is. So we're ready to get things started? As long as you know what you want to build, I can show these new people what to do. We'll be building on the sites we've measured out. You can go and look them over first, if you like. I'll do that. I'll see what's going to be built where. Nevertheless, I doubt you'll be able to figure that out just from looking at the sites. <laughs> yeah, this place is changed. How do I choose what to build where? I've already given it some thought on your behalf. I even wrote it all down in the accounts ledger. Everything will be recorded there. I'll make a note of every change as we proceed. Thanks. That'll be a big help. And where can I find this book? It will always be kept at the Rat House. Well, there's nothing here, so we'll have to build everything. Ale house, bakery, butchers, rat house. Did I mention ale house? Eventually. But be warned. To begin with, it's always best to start with facilities that will be producing construction materials for everything else. And since we'll mainly be using timber, it makes sense to set up a woodcutter's camp. All right. And then what? That depends. Every building has its use. You'll soon get the grasp of it. And it's all in the ledger. What about the workers' wages and buying materials for artisans? The money must be put in the trunk here. The expenditures for wages and materials will be taken from it. So you should keep it topped up to prevent delays. It reminds me. There's the matter of my own pay to be resolved. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Sir so Divish guaranteed me a fixed income. What's more, this job is an exceptionally big one. I see. How much are you thinking? I have a record of payment here somewhere. Hmm. Here it is. Let's say one quarter more than that.
Well, as you said yourself, it's just a continuation of your work for us to do this. So I see no reason to change the conditions now. Well, all right. It seems we understand each other. I agree. Good. I'll put your wages in the trunk, too. Are you sure it's quite safe? Quite. Only you and I shall have a key and access to the trunk. Besides, we'll have guards on watch here. Ah, that's reassuring. That's about all to begin with. If you need any more details, I'll be happy to explain things to you. Could you explain something to me? What are my duties as bailiff? As bailiff, you must see to it that the village grows and prospers. You'll have to resolve disputes between citizens and decide what I should have built. The coin for it will come from your own purse. Basically, you'll have to keep the whole locality under control. But you can't just do whatever you like. You're still answerable to Sir Divish, as am I. Which means... Which means that if the folk here are unhappy, word will soon get to Sir Divish, and he'll put you in your place. So you'd better see to it that there's no thieving, and folk have jobs to do, and their wages are paid. Of course. I'll keep a close eye on things. How do I build houses? First, find out how much it'll cost, and whether the upkeep won't ruin you. Everything is written in the ledger. You can check it all there, or just come and see me. Sure. How do the accounts work? Hmm. The most important thing is to know how much profit your buildings generate and what they cost to operate. That's written on the very first page of the ledger, which will be kept at the Rat House. Whenever we erect a new building, I record it there. And you'll find all the profit generated by the village in the trunk next to the ledger. And what if we spend more than we earn? Then you'll have to put the amount necessary for covering the operating costs into the trunk. I see. Probably best to have a little extra there for a rainy day, then. How do operating costs work? Those are the workers' wages. Costs of material and equipment for tradesmen and so on. And what if I don't have enough coin? Then production will grind to a halt. Watch out for that. Folks soon get grouchy if they're not getting paid. The amount needed each day is recorded in the accounts ledger, too. So you should keep enough in the trunk to cover the wages. And how do I pay the workers? Don't concern yourself about that. I'll take care of it. As long as you provide the coin. So I could put enough money there for, say, three days in advance? Indeed. Simple enough, isn't it? All right. Thanks. How can I get new people to come to the village? Don't worry about that. Folk will gradually turn up of their own accord when there are houses for them. Each building can house a certain number of people. The bigger the house, the more inhabitants. And the more space you have for them, the more country folk will come here in search of a better livelihood. What about tradesmen? I can find you fairly competent ones. But if you can get really skilled artisans, it will certainly be a boon for the village income. Although it's not all that easy to get skilled people. You could ask around. I see. Any suggestions? Hmm. You could try asking the two Sassau armourers for a start. They're always at each other's throats, so maybe one of them could work here. But don't forget to get a forge and armoury workshop set up for him. Otherwise, you'll only be wasting his time. Right. I'll go and have a word with them later. I must give some thought to who else would come in handy here. Thanks. How can I improve the buildings? The process is exactly the same as for building from the ground up. We need to have enough coin, materials, and, of course, something to improve. It goes without saying that there's no point in better blacksmith's equipment if you've no forge to put it in. Well, I can't argue with that. But why bother with improvements at all? Because they make it possible to produce better goods that can be sold at a higher price, so we'll earn more money. Nothing, actually. So, how am I doing with the village? Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. You're still far from having the income you need to make the village prosper. Hmm. Well, the village isn't ready yet for the expansion Sir Divish is planning. The church is still in ruins. Doesn't create a good impression. We're on the right track, but we haven't reached the end yet. All right, I'll get stuck in. Okay. I want to build something. Certainly. Master Bailiff, what's it to be? So, 
basically in here we can choose what we build as this village will be our village you can see that we can build tavern road i'd rather not build anything just now okay and before that we started quest supplies and then in here is the accountant ledger So this means our income is minus 100 groschen per day and this is not good so what we need is to build some buildings that will make our incomes better. And then we also need to give groschen in this trunk. So if there is no groschen in there, we can't do anything. So let's say what? I'm going to give it 100 groschen, 100k groschen now. And also this question will be used for pay all the laborers so let's try to, to build certainly master bailiff what's it to be let's say we can build the church let's start repairing the church it's impossible. Check what you need in the ledger. Okay, so what we need is the supplies. So first, we, what we need is build the trader store. But for that, we need to build road and bridge first. And also the woodcutter's camp. So first, let's build the woodcutters camp we'll need woodcutters to ensure timber supplies for building let's go to the site i'll see to the building so we have 100 regression in here This is the three buildings that we need to build first and don't build another buildings yet because it will make us deficit. Where is it? It's in here. Build here. Yes. Shall we get started? I'm ready. 
I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. All good. We can start construction. This is our own woodcutter's camp. And then let's immediately build the bridge and road. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? That rickety old footbridge won't do. We need a proper bridge and a firm road. Very well. Come along with me. Once we're there, I'll oversee the building, so they don't botch anything. We're going to build here? Right here. Ready to start? I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. All good. We can start construction. Looks good. <laughs> And then let's build the trader store. I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? Trade is important, and we'll have a wagon bringing goods in, so we'll build a trader store. Hmm. Right. That should do it. We've got everything we need to start building. Come with me. We're going to build here? Right here. Ready to start? I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. All good. We can start construction. Some people start to coming in to our village. Uh. Hey. D 
Uh, more, please. Look out. My humble greetings. How may I serve you? And we can trade now. So this is the three basic buildings that we need to build first. And after we build trader's house, we can start the activity. We can do the judgment in here as a bailiff. And every day it will be a random judgment that we can do. Um, let's try. What's the matter here? This bitch here tried to kill me. Have her clapped in the stocks where she belongs. That's not true, Master Bailiff, sir. He got drunk, like he always does, and ate who knows what kind of slop somewhere. You know very well what it was what poisoned me. You're trying to get rid of me and don't think I don't know it. Enough. One at a time. Okay, so this is... Tell Armor me what and happened. wife. What makes you think she tried to poison you? She hates me. She wants to put me in the ground and then take the farm. I can see it in her eyes. She's just wishing for the day I'm dead. But she'll never see it because I'll throw her out on her ear. Throw me out from my own home? You useless, ale swilling pig. Have you forgotten who got you a roof over your head? Just look at her, sir. You can see for yourself what a harpy she is. I came home after one or two ales at the tavern, ate my supper, what was left on the table for me, and went to bed. And in the morning, I woke up with my guts in agony. My head was on fire. I thought my last hour had come. If it wasn't for the old herb woman, she'd already have me in the ground. Have you forgotten the part about battering me and throwing up in the doorway? Shut your mouth, you whore! Quiet. Good wife, tell me your side of the story. Sir, that beast is good for nothing but drinking away my dowry with his cronies. If he puts his hand to a flail at all, it's only to beat me with it. We were thrown out of the farm near Ledechko that I got as a dowry because this fool let it go to ruin and got us into debt too. They threw us out because you wouldn't back me up to the bailiff. Because I couldn't hold my head up if I lied to cover your useless ass. That's got nothing to do with you poisoning me. He boozes from morning till night and beats me. Says I don't take good enough care of him. And all he does is sit on his ass, expecting me to run around cooking and cleaning for him. And now he wants to drive me out of the village, saying I tried to kill him. What would I do then? Tell me about how you were poisoned, as you claim. I came home. And there was a bowl of cabbage soup and a pitcher of wine on the table. So I had it and went to bed. I woke up in the early hours and had to run to the outhouse, spewing from both ends I was. I was burning up so much you could light a torch off me. And this witch here laughing up her sleeve. She wouldn't even call the herb woman for me. If I had to call the herb woman every time you get boozed up, she might as well move in with us. When I was writhing in agony on the ground, I heard her say clear as day, Ha! You got what was coming to you. Is that true? No, he's lying. Well, what do you think happened, good wife? Nothing what hasn't been a hundred times before. He was crooked as a bishop again, and I could already hear him in the courtyard, retching and spewing. I had his supper waiting on the table, because otherwise there'd be hell to pay. Only there's no pleasing the pig. Where's the meat? And what have you. And when I told him God's honest truth that there's no meat because he drank all our money away, he laid into me like a madman. One slap was all you got. What was less than you deserved for your evil tongue? I ran off and hid in the barn till he'd calmed down. When I could hear him snoring like a pig, I came inside again. After a while, he started throwing up and he was spewing till dawn. 
Who knows what he ate when he was boozed up? Or it was the booze itself done it. And what about the herb woman? I went for her in the end. Three groschen I had to give her for some wormwood potion. I could have done that myself for nothing. And then he claimed I poisoned him. Now I've heard enough. Okay, so what we choose will affect on either our reputation or it can be minus on citizens or plus citizens and also our income so in here I will choose the farmer is guilty you farmer won't touch another drop of booze or I'll leave you in the stocks to dry out and if you raise your hand to your wife again I'll take a bludgeon to you but a drink or two no buts there'll be no half measures with you thank you master bailiff thank you a thousandfold you're a wise and just man so we've got reputation loss it must be from this guy but actually it will give us a new income so let's see on the ledger you can see so our income is still minus That is the basic structure. Okay, so let's leave it like that. We need to ensure housing for the villagers, sufficient income, and then renew the church. But before that, we need some supplies. So we need to check on all of the places. To see if we can get the supplies. We need a stone, supply of stones, and then grain, livestock, charcoal. So first is the stone that is only in Tumber. So. Let's go there. Um, are we too late? Hey, he's in there. Yeah. I'm honored that you should come to me. I'm here at the behest of Sir Divis. I'm looking for the overseer of this quarry. Would that be you, Goodman? Aye, that's me. What can I do for you? Sir Divis has decided to rebuild Privislavitz, and he's entrusted me to take charge, along with his locator. Aha, uh -huh. so it's you. I heard about Sir Divish's plans. 
What is it you need, then? Well, we've started with the reconstruction work, but we need more than just timber. You need stone for the construction? Exactly. And for repairing the church. Well, now, you're really not doing things by halves, are you? The thing is, though, we're already working flat out supplying stone for the monastery construction in Sassau. I can't cut back on their supplies, so Divish wouldn't be at all pleased. But I really need that stone. Well, I suppose I could try and hire a few more quarrymen to increase production. But we can't transport it. Even Sassau sends their own wagon here. Have you got someone to carry the stone? I've got my own merchant. He'll take but care of it. That's why we need Trader Store. Splendid! So let's we talk need about the price. The merchant to take all the supplies. Okay, so he will give us 4k, but we can haggle it. The stone is for Sir Divish. It's for a village he wants to rebuild as quickly as possible. I doubt he'd take it well that the overseer of his own quarry is overcharging him for it. Well, you have a point. I'll take that into account in the price. That's better. Excellent. We'll start sending the stone as soon as your merchant gets here. God be with you. Now we've got the stone. And if you want, you can pickpocket this guy again to get your oppression back. But I won't do that. So for now, we need to talk about livestock, the charcoal. And also grain. So let's start from Uzit. God save you. I'd like to buy some grain. Grain? What do you want grain for? I'm responsible for the rebuilding of Pribislavitz. Hmm. I heard some talk about that. I suppose I can sell you part of the crop. How many bushels do you want? I'll need fodder for horses, at least ten strong animals, and wheat for the baker. He'll have to bake for the whole village. That's quite a lot. It won't be cheap. But even though it's for Sir Divish's village. Aye. Unless he sets the allocations himself, I have to make up for any differences in supplies. And you'll have to pay for that. Have you got someone to transport it? Or are you gonna haul it there yourself? I've got a merchant to take care of it. Fair enough. Here's my offer. Okay, so what we need to do is choose maybe from Uzit, Rate, or Sasau. Or Samopesh. So we need to talk to all of them and then make a note of it. So Bailiff in Uzits give us the price of 160 groschen. So I will try elsewhere. No skin off my nose. So if we he is the cheapest one, we can go back here again and then agree with that. So let's go to let's go to this charcoal burner.
Blessing. What can I do for you? Have you got charcoal for sale? Charcoal? Nah, we've got linen. Want to buy linen? What? You have no charcoal? Of course we've got charcoal. What do you think we have in them kilns? Pies? What do you need it for? For the Privis Lovitz blacksmith. What are you on about? He's been dead for years. No, 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 the new one. The village has been renewed. Is that so? Nobody tells us nothing. So, will you sell me some? Why not? How much do you need? At least five bags a week. Huh, we could manage that. And how will you get it there? I've got a merchant to take care of supplies. Well, as long as he can drive here and find us. What do you say to this price? Okay, 220 Croatian. Let's say no. Nah, that's too much. Try somewhere else then. Take care. Let's check on the livestock in here. It must be from the butcher. Hey, who's there? Good health to you. I'd like to buy livestock for Privis Lavitz. How much do you need? Well. It needs to be enough to keep everyone in Pribis Labbits fed. What? I'll give nothing to that lot. Why ever not? What the hell? I won't sell nothing to that Scalitz rabble. Why is that? Because before they moved there, they were stinking at the place right in front of my shop. They were begging for alms. And like a fool, I gave it to them. What's wrong with that? It's a Christian thing to do. Only they won't go away. They passed the word on. There were good pickings to be had. Then they all churned up one by one, bothering my customers. They ruined my trade. And they stole from me, that thieving rabble. And they were too wily for the cat's paw to catch them at it. But I know it was them what did it. They'll get nothing from me. But they need food. What do I care? It's nothing to do with me since they cleared out of here. They were driving my customers away, begging here in front of my shop. They can eat dirt for all I care. What, you miss out on a trade like that? Supplying livestock for the whole village, exclusive rights just for you. That ought to make up for past wrongs. Well, uh, all right. The main thing is I got them out of my hair. 
But I'll set the price. We'll take them there for you. I've got a merchant to handle it. All right. Here's my offer. Take it or leave it. Um, uh, seventy groschen for livestock in Ratai. Okay. No, I reckon I'll leave it. Then what the hell have you been playing at here? <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> He's very mad. Okay, now this charcoal, let's check on it. But I want to go to bad house first. Get energy and enrichment back. Grant you health. How may I help you? I'm interested in your uh, services. Uh huh. And what do you want? Uh, I'll certainly need a physician to treat my wounds, then a hot bath, and uh, launder in my clothes. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. May the Lord watch over you. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. Have you still got charcoal? We did last time I looked. I'd still like to buy some. And how will you get it there? I've got a merchant to take care of supplies. Well, as long as he can drive here and find us, what do you say to this price? 220, okay. It's the same from Ratai. Nah, that's too much. Try somewhere else then. Good luck to you. Now let's check on Sasao. On the bay leaf for the brain. God bless. Can I help you? I'd like to buy some grain. You want to buy grain? That's what I said. I need regular supplies for Pribislavitz. I'm in charge of renewing the village. Well, I never. So Sir Divish really is going ahead with it. Looks like it. Well, it's all the same to me. How many bushels will you be wanting? Uh, I'll need fodder for horses, at least ten strong animals, and wheat for the baker. He'll have to bake for the whole village. I can arrange that. Only you'll have to put a share back into the Sassar coffers. 
To cover the cost of the supplies, our lord will be losing on account of it. I understand. Have you got someone to transport the grain? I've got a merchant to take care of it. This is the price. 120. It's still cheaper from Uzit. But let's check. Can we lower the price? Couldn't we do something about the price? Sorry, I can't, Henry. I've got to manage things properly here. The price is what it is. This is the price. Okay. That's a bit on the high side. Take it or leave it. Take care now. There is still one place that we need to check. And then the butcher here should be for livestock. Yeah. Honored that you should come to me. I'm trying to get livestock for Privis Lavis. Could you help me out? Certainly. How are the folk there getting on? Yeah, we're doing all right. Glad to hear it. There's a friend of mine there, Jonah. You know him? Mm, sorry, can't say I do. I don't know everyone yet. Andy fella, always making something. He's good at making baskets. Mm, sorry, I really don't know him. Ah, well. It's not important. You sure don't have it easy. But then again, it'll be an adventure. I was thinking about it myself. About going there too, you know. But my place is here. Well, uh, what was it you wanted again? I want you to supply livestock for us. Right, of course. And who's going to take it there for you? I've got a merchant to take care of it. Good. I'll be expecting him. So, here's my price. I know it's a bit on the dear side, but you'll get lean, tender meat from them, fit for a bishop's table. 50 groschen, okay. Cheaper than ratai? No, that's really too much. It's a bit dear, too. But I can't go any lower for such fine livestock, it'll put me out of business. Oh, I'll see if I can't get something cheaper elsewhere, then. Fair enough. Good luck then. Yep, let's before the cheaper. So what's left is this charcoal, uh, some opest grain, a stock from Reddit Go. And then charcoal from gingers, friends. Let's see. Yeah. Wrong way.
God save you. What can I do for you? Have you still got charcoal? We did last time I looked. I'd still like to buy some. And how will you get it there? I've got a merchant to take care of supplies. Well, as long as he can drive here and find us. What do you say to this price? Hey, the same? 220? Nah, that's too much. Try somewhere else then. Goodbye. Thank you, sir. And then what's left is Tamopesh Rain, Livestock from Ledechko, and then Charcoal from Ginger's Friend. God save you, good knight. What can I do for you? Have you got any grain to sell? You want it for yourself? No, it's not for me. It's for the villagers in Pribislavitz. They need regular supplies. And what have you got to do with that? Sir Divish put me in charge. He put you in charge of hauling grain? No, he... Um... Oh, look, it doesn't matter. Can we buy from you? <sighs> it's all the same to me. I can let you have some of the crop. How much do you need? Well, I'll need uh, fodder for horses, at least ten strong animals, and wheat for the baker. He'll have to bake for the whole village. My word. You must be a trustworthy wagoner if his lordship trusts you with a deal like that. Yeah, that's me. How are you going to haul it from here? I've arranged it with a merchant who does just this kind of work. I don't mind sending you part of our crop, but it'll cost something. Oh, eighty groschen. So actually, this is the cheapest one. Well, that's a reasonable price. We'll shake on it then. Goodbye. Okay, we've got the grain. What's up? You need some help. So let's go. Okay, I forget that the butcher is in here. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. I'd like to buy some livestock. Could you arrange that? Maybe. What are you after? Cattle, pigs, poultry, everything. <laughs> Starting a farm, are you? <laughs> Swords into plowshares? <laughs> no, no. It's not for me. It's for the village of Pribislavitz. What? For the whole village? Aye. A few dozen people, at least. Well, now, uh, that's no laughing matter. But it can be done, although they might not be the best animals. What do you mean, not the best? Well, it's like this. I've got to supply meat for the Lord's Table, too. And the gentry in Ledechko want the best. So what's left for me, then? The animals might not be as good as what you'd get somewhere else. 
I'll sell you older beasts, ones that ain't so fat and the like, or ones no one wants to buy because they don't like the look of them. That's how it is. But for that, I'll give you all the better price. Have you got someone to herd the livestock there for you? I've got a merchant to arrange it. So we'll shake on it? Okay, so this is the cheapest one. Only 30 Croatian. Deal. See you later. We've got the livestock. Nice. And this is the last one that we need to check. Greetings, good knight. How may I serve you? I'd like to buy charcoal from you. Of course, Henry, anything for you. It might be more than you think. How much charcoal could you possibly need? Five bags. On a regular basis. Haven't you noticed winter is over? There's a new forge in Pribislavitz, and I need to supply it with charcoal, seeing as how I'm the bailiff. Bailiff, eh? Well, I never. Congratulations. Oh, it's not a bed of roses, but thanks. All right, but we can't let you have that amount for nothing, even if you did help us with ginger. Don't worry, I wouldn't expect that. How are you going to haul the charcoal? I've got a merchant of my own. He'll come here regularly with a wagon to pick it up. You just have to load it for him. As you wish. About the price... So this is the different one, and also because we saved the... Ginger. So let's agree. Deal. All right, we'll send the first load as soon as your wagon gets here. Good luck then. And we finish the supplies quest. We've got all supplies that we need. And so what's left is building the previous lafits. Yeah. Let's check on our ledger. Okay, we've got all resources. We still have 90k Croatian. Alright, so what we need is building some buildings. What we need is build some buildings to get some incomes. Uh, before of that, I want to take the judgment. Uh -huh. Maybe I should go over to Tamburg and have a word with him about when he might be thinking of settling his debt. I, unless he got more than asking. What 
What is it this time? Um, we have a problem with water. That is, with the stream. With the, uh, use of the stream. The stream? What seems to be the trouble? Sir, they won't let me have a shit. Um, <laughs> what was that? Your locator here won't let people go for a shit. God, give me strength. Um, <laughs> Master Locator, would, uh, would you be so kind as to cast some light on the matter? I never forbade anyone to sh to defecate. <laughs> it's not something that can be prohibited anyway. You did so. All I asked was that people did their business further downstream. After all, we don't want our water supply contaminated. It could cause disease. What kind of disease? Digestive disorders, fever, even death. Ah, what a load of nonsense. We always poured our shit out right there on the road. They even do that in Prague, for what I've heard. What else would they do with it? Is it true about Prague? Admittedly, in many cases, yes. But often there's no other option. The wealthier citizens have a latrine in their courtyard, which they empty out whenever necessary. But the common folk do empty their chamber pots on the streets. See now. But it's also said that if the Turks ever try to attack Prague, it's the stink that will hold them back, not the walls. What do you suggest, Master Marius? Let the people answer the call of nature at least 100 feet downstream from the village. What? That far? What if I get the runs? I'd shoot myself before getting there. I've decided. Okay. Let's do the best answer. Defecating will only be allowed at least 100 feet from the village. But, sir... A wise decision, Henry. Well, at least we have permission to go and shit again. I'll go and tell the fellows we can go to the stream. It's been a tough few days. You mean you haven't been since... No, don't say it. I don't even want to know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for the next judgment, we need to go here in the next day. So now let's start to building something. Let's start to build something. I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? Uh, uh, behinds maybe, and also tavern. With all the woods around, we ought to keep bees here. There's always a demand for honey. Good, we've got everything. Okay, this is for income. Come along with me to the site where we'll be building. We're going to build here? Yes. Shall we get started? I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. All good. We can start construction. Our beehive. I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? Let's build Rat House first. I'd like to build the rat house. Let's go to the site. I'll see to the building.
or maybe the tavern first for the income yeah i should do that we're gonna build here yes shall we get started i'm ready i'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need hmm we've got what we need let's get to work Well, at least this can be our house. Nice. This is the place for Croatian. Okay, pot in here. But no place to sleep. Okay, we can sleep on the chair. Oh man, minus six hundred. Um, have we got the judgment again? Let's check on it. Okay, not yet. Let's build the tavern. Maybe that will can be good for our income. So, how am I doing with the village? Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. You're still far from having the income you need to make the village prosper. You'll need to get the tradesmen working better and creating space for more people. Yep. The church is still in ruins. Doesn't create a good impression. We're on the right track, but we haven't reached the end yet. All right, I'll get stuck in. I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? No, we don't have a tavern here yet. People need to wash the dust down after a hard day's work. Very well. Come along with me. Once we're there, I'll oversee the building. So they don't botch anything. We're gonna build here? Right here. Ready to start? I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. All good. We can start construction. Oh, we've done ensure housing for the villagers. Nice.
Cool. I want to build something. But we mustn't waste any time. We can't build in the dark. You can't hammer a nail if you can't even see past your nose. I applaud <laughs> your fervor. But you'd be better off getting a good night's sleep and starting fresh in the morning. Uh, I suppose so. I'll come tomorrow then. Okay. Cool. We've got our tavern. By the way, I will unequip my helmet so I can be the real. They live in here. Nice. Uh, let's go to sleep. Can we sleep and save? Okay, let's do the judgment. Yeah. Bad news, I'm afraid, Master Bailiff. Very bad news. <laughs> that makes a change. Well, out with it. What happened? Two wagons that were on the way here with grain and fodder supplies were ambushed by a band of cumans. The wagoners escaped by the skin of their teeth. But the supplies are gone. Ugh, damn it. That is bad news. Worse than bad. Those were supplies for the whole year. And we won't be able to replace them. Things are hard enough as it is. Sir Divish had to lower his quota for Townberg just to let us have it. So we've no grain for the baker, no fodder for the stables? I'm afraid not, Henry. We're left with only two options. One as bad as the other. Either we can go cap in hand asking for more, and look like incompetent fools. And anyway, we'd be lucky to get any. <laughs> not too appealing, I must say. And the second option? There's still a few sacks of grain in the labourers' camp. But they bought it themselves. We could requisition it, but it would make us rather unpopular. Not just with them. It's for you to decide as bailiff. Okay. Let's see. We'll order another delivery. They sent one, they'll surely send another. I fear they'll send us nothing but mouldy dregs from the bottom of the barrel. We need to bread 500. We'll order another delivery. They sent one, they'll the surely other send one, another. I, fear I think we will lose reputation and also some citizens. Can't be well, let's just, we'll just take have that. To make do. See to it. Yep. We've got reputation.
I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? We've already finished everything successfully. Oh, really? We can improve? Wow. We can extend the red house. The forge or bakery butchers. Okay, so here's one thing. There are some building that we need to choose. So if we choose one, we can build the other. So let's get the building that have better income. The forge. We'll need plenty of tools and they'll need repairing too. So we have to have a blacksmith. Good. We've got everything. Come along with me to the site where we'll be building. <coughs> We're going to build here? Yes. Shall we get started? I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. We've still got the means. We'll get stuck in then. Got grindstone, blacksmith. Let's build some more. I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? We've already finished everything. Okay, we need to choose the swordsmith or armor smith. So bakery and butchers, we need to choose one, so I will choose the butchers. Let's build a butcher shop. Very well. Come along with me. Once we're there, I'll oversee the building, so they don't botch anything.
here. We're gonna build here. Right here. Ready to start? I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. We've still got the means. We'll get stuck in then. Tell me in the comment that is better we build butchers or bakery. Who are you? Who are you? What is it you want here? I heard more. And we've got the activity now. Let's go. Did something happen? What in the I will make these two parts. Yeah. So I will end this here and see you to the next part.